There he is. Well, I finally got one to bite. Oh, nice perch there, nice perch. Let's get that up here. Whoa. Caught that one on the slick jig. Whole minnow, just a dandy perch, nice fish. Where I tell you, there's two key factors in, in getting that fish to bite. The first thing I was doing is I was keeping this line, this line, this knot on my eye perpendicular. So when I was jigging that lure, I was going like this, and the harder you pop it, the more that lure goes out and then it swings back around. That slick jig swings back around and then it settles. While I was marking fish, they weren't going. So what I did, I said, oh, I gotta change this up. I took that knot and slid it straight back towards the back of the hook. So it, basically the line is parallel with the jig. And I took that minnow, I went through the mouth, out the gills, and up through the back. And I took that thing and I started pounding it. When you hook it like that, that knot, that, that lure is gonna sit like this in the water, and I started pounding it on the rocks. And that fish immediately took it. So that's telling me two things. Number one, the fish want the minnows and I wasn't doing it correctly. Number two is that the minnows are eating off the bottom and that's what I duplicated and that was triggered that fish to bite. The nice thing about these slick jigs is that they've got a long shake hook so when you're fishing with whole minnow live bait you can make that minnow basically eat your hook is what I do. Is I put it through the mouth, out the gills, make that minnow eat that jig and then bring it from its bottom side up straight to its back. So you're getting that hook placement further back when you set the hook you're going to get more hookups. 